Most hunters think about non-typical deer, they think about this kind of animal. He's a mainframe eight point and he's got some kickers, kicker points. And, and you know, this, this set of antlers is not fully typical. It's got some non-typical characteristics, but it's, it's a basic set of antlers, uh, not unlike a normal white-tailed deer, older white-tailed deer. But let me show you an example of, of non-normal antler development in an extreme case. This is a white-tailed buck. Uh, he was uh, raised and, and lived his entire life in the Mississippi State University Rusty Dawkins Memorial Deer Unit and is part of our, our Deer Lab educational outreach. This is Fred and he grew this set of antlers and died as a 14 year old buck in, his, in, in our research pens. Normally bucks don't live to 14 years of age, but in this case, because he was in our research facility, he was able to live that long. Now he was uh, a relatively typical antlered buck. He was a mainframe eight most of his life. Towards the end of his life, and this photo of him as a 13 year old, you can see uh, he's becoming non-typical. He's got some kickers and his shape isn't quite normal, but he's a mainframe eight and uh, got some non-typical characteristics. He's becoming more non-typical with age, older age. And then his 14 year, the year, 14 year age antlers, the year he died, he just uh, really, <laughs> He lost it as far as growing normal antlers. Uh, and his pedicles had literally uh, grown together. The, the base of his antlers had grown together. And, and that had been happening progressively with age, uh, probably because of some pedicle damage. Uh, keeping bucks in a fenced enclosure, uh, it's hard for them not to get some pedicle damage along the way. Uh, but he didn't have enough pedicle damage to cause uh, a brain abscess, but he did over the years, the base of his antlers grew more and more together. And this last year, it was a solid mass. I mean, it's, it's one big mass of antler, which is not typical. And then there's this weird shape, uh, somewhat symmetrical. He's, uh, I guess we could call these brow tines here, or this is a brow tine, and this is an attempt at a brow tine. And then this would be maybe the, his main frame uh, main beams, and this is a tine growing out from it. Uh, but well, maybe these are the the main beams, and these are just tines growing out of that. It's it's so atypical. It's difficult to figure out what's what. Uh, but bottom line is this is a an extreme example of a non-typical antler development seen at the very end of a buck's life. As a buck reaches full maturity, he starts, well, as bucks age, they start adding non-typical points. And the older they get, the more non-typical they tend to get. And this is an extreme case of really old age. The year he died, he just threw it out the window and, and, and grew some stuff.